Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone's having a good morning. I've been awake since 5.30. I, I kind of want to be up at 5, but you know, 5.30. Got ready, looking cute, and I have a interview today. And oh, I guess I missed a little bit of foundation here. Eh. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to get ready for that. And I walk the dog soon, so my husband has to be up soon. Uh, and then, yeah, I have some stuff to do today, so working a little bit and getting stuff done. Yeah, I have to do, so I have to do my to-do list, so gotta get on that. Alright guys, just making some toast, I'm gonna make some toast, I'm gonna make some, uh, oh my god, Philadelphia cheese, uh-huh. And I'm gonna put some bananas. Where's my bananas? And I'm just trying to get rid of my bananas and put some honey on it. It's gonna be delicious and it's gonna be healthy. So I'm gonna grab that. So I just grabbed the Philadelphia cream cheese and it's light cream cheese. So it's like 60 calories per two, two, two teaspoons. I got my bread. I'm gonna put some Philadelphia. Um, it is my day off from work today so but i still have a lot of other work to do um and i have an interview like i mentioned soon so i'm gonna do that and i really need to get a better stand um this one just always like part of me is cut off maybe i just need to get like a camera i don't know for vlogging I need to make some investments in my vlogging um so just going to put that on I had some peanut butter. I really wanted to do this with peanut butter, but I lost it. Oh, there it is. So, it's almond butter too, so. It's a shame. Now I cut up my... Mm. First, please have a bite. I got my honey. Okay, this needs to do that. Yeah, okay. Put a little bit on here. A little bit on here. And voila. First bite. Mm. Mm hmm. Fantastic. And I feel like it's fairly healthy. Like I got the Philadelphia right and I have organic whole grain and I have honey, 100% pure Canadian honey from Kirkland. So we're gonna eat, you're eating good stuff. One issue with myself is I feel like I don't chew enough. Like this isn't that I'm founded fear of mine, but I am afraid of choking to death. Same as drowning or burning alive. So. Making a conscious effort to at least chew 20 times before I swallow. Not because of that fear, but also because, like, I really need to chew my food. <laughs> but because I'm always in a rush, I feel like I don't chew properly. Okay, so I'm just setting on some lipstick. Um, I found a really cute lip combo um, a little while ago. I have the Revlon Colorstay, Colorstay Longwear Lip Liner in the shade. Oh, I don't really know what shade this is. What shade are you? Mink? Is that it? Oh. And Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink in the shade Speak Up. So, I'm um, just going to put a little bit of lipstick on. I don't have my stand here, so I'm holding on to the thing with my phone. And I'm just going to put on... took a nap today. I was fucking, <laughs> excuse me, swearing. 
it was fantastic like a two-hour nap and i was just so tired yesterday because i did not sleep it was oh okay hold on it was great now we're going to do some videos just watching tv and applying for some grants for st Cherry up north which is my charity that i have started well not charity yet because I apply for charity status, but I'm a nonprofit that helps refugees. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. Um, I put on the coffee and now I'm gonna do a quick meditation. So I'm gonna get right to it. Okay, so just going to put on some makeup. I'm going to start off with my eyes. Yeah, I was going to do my eyes first, so let's do that. Itty. I got this brand um, because it was cruelty free and because I've been more conscious about what I purchase and it's expensive. It's like 30 bucks for this little bottle. So it's definitely a change from like the Revlon. Did I throw it out? I think I threw it out. The Revlon or something or L'Oreal. I can't remember which, one, which brand it was. Um, I know it wasn't cruelty free, but I got it a while ago um compared to that one which is like twelve dollars for like a bigger bottle and one thing i didn't like about that other brand also was that it made my hair really greasy like it was really oily i don't like that so i definitely like this one does not make my hair greasy when i use the shield so it's fantastic but yeah you know it's still expensive and i got it from sephora because at least with Sephora, it's so much easier to order things, you know, like with shoppers, you have to go in, then you have to like go and find what you want and, and each shopper is different. If shoppers had a better online store, I'd shop there more. Um, but the thing is, um, I know shoppers Sephora actually offers better points too than Sephora, but it's just not as easy to shop there, like especially online. Um, but one thing I have mentioned about Sephora before is that I ref now refuse to go into the store. Like, I think, and I'm not saying this in a hateful way at all, it's just I've had so many bad experiences going in there that I refuse to go in there and deal with their sales representative. Like, they've just, it's sucked so many times that I'm like, I don't want to deal with that anymore. So I shop online more now and refuse to go inside. Just, just unless I really have to. just gotten really weird vibe from the sales representative they've been rude and they've been like watching me really weirdly it's just like it's very odd situation that i've been to that i'm like you know what even complaining doesn't do anything like sephora is just known to have bad sales representative like i've heard so many stories not just like online but from like family and friends that are like yeah but we kind of go into so far we regret going in so i don't know i don't know 
All right, hair is done. And now I'm gonna get ready for work because, yeah. I mean, I know I work from home, but the thing is, the other day, I all of a sudden, this is kind of like reiterates like my belief, is that A, I feel a lot more productive and better uh, when I get ready and I look good or I feel confident. And another thing is, it's like, the other day I all of a sudden had an interview and like I don't know where it was very last minute you know like I could have easily said no I can't um but like they're like oh like we would like to like interview like now kind of thing and I'm like okay so like I was fully prepared I looked good I looked professional I just had to throw on a blazer and that was it so you know you never know when you need to be ready for something so it was good and now my hair is done so i love it and i love this beachy vibe it is really cute for the summertime and like ugh, i have a hair on my lips mm -mm. so now i'm going to get ready and do some other work mm -mm. wow it's so good i love this i do Just still at work, but I need some food and to see if we have food. We do not, but we have milk, so we can have cereal for lunch. Favorite foods in the whole entire world is cereal. So we're gonna have some. And I am having some pineapple kind of Cheerios. Ah, okay. And one, one. Get some of these. I don't like a lot of milk. Never have. And so many, not because I need more sugar, but because I love the texture. So I finished work and I knew we were having thunderstorms, but I didn't realize we were going to get a tornado warning again. We got a lot of those here in Barrie, so um, yeah, we got another tornado warning, so it's, it's okay. Like if the rain came in, it's gone now, so I don't think we're going to have a tornado warning or tornado, but you know, we've had one in the recent years and hopefully it doesn't happen again new time future is there they're very yeah you know tornadoes are catastrophic so and yeah so now i'm just gonna chill and watch some tv some rookie, rookie blue and then i do some laundry and that is it so it is another night and another day so i'm gonna pretty much conclude my vlog here i'm just finishing up my skincare and yeah, it's been, it was actually surprising, no, I'm not going to say surprising because that's pretty negative in the world. Um, it was actually a really nice day. I had a good day. Um, and yeah, it was just really good. We had a tornado warning, but like, thankfully, nothing happened. So that's good. It's always a good thing to not have a tornado. Um, yes. But overall, it was such a good day. I had a pleasant day. I was very productive this morning, which I was really happy about as well. So yeah, that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. And if you enjoy vlogging and, you know, seeing what your girl does on a daily basis um, as an immigration consultant, as a, just a person in Toronto and very, um, make sure you follow me and yeah that's it thank you so much for tuning in and i'll catch you guys